orders are as follows. Good morning, kids. Let's say welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Where we last left off, we we explored what they could have explored in Casador's place. And they have these big red doors called Sinister Door. And looks like it has an uh, arcane lock. Is it? Hmm. My magic. Bless us, master. I have Gale with me. I'm just curious. Not that. Isn't there a spell like. The arcane lock. Close the door or container with a magical lock. It can no longer be lock picked or opened with knock. Okay. But isn't there. Like an open door spell or something like that? Unlock? Or am I uh, misremembering? I think I might misremember that. Anyway, have just a uh, in more interesting times. Bit of distraction on the side. Right, we have the ring, we have the dictionary. So let's see. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. Yes, indeed. He okay, press the Sarg. Zar signet ring against the hollow and read the door's inscription aloud. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door swings open. Oh. Oh. It's a lot of blood. Okay, and this is the one that I saw from upstairs that I thought it might be another lower level. It's in a weird position. Way. Okay. You can't be here. No one in. No one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> the runaway spawn. <sighs> you reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. <laughs> we bring you to him. We get his favor. Okay, and we are fighting automatically. Uh, the other helpers around here... Seem... Looks like they don't care. Uh... Okay, a lot of level ones that you do one spell and they're gone. Uh, who would be next? Bloodfang and then White Mist. Huh, okay, Astarian. You have these uh, Woglins over here. What can I do with the max amount of casualties? I don't think I can hit the... Oh, I can. Right. You're not gonna save anything. Oh. Nice. That clears some of the smaller guys, not to be annoyed. And then... Oh! Here are the rest. I'm gonna do the same. Oh, in this position is much more better. Cool. So, who's left? A rat over there, and a bat here. And the rest are the big guys. Fine by me. On the hunt. Right over there, and there. They need to dash. Okay with it. Okay. Uh, who would be next? You. Sure, all the monster over there for the moment. And I'm gonna to do another of these things. So step back for a moment. For another round. 
Okay, Gale is in combat. I thought for a second Gale might not be in combat. Ah, okay. They are becoming uh, more temporary hostile. These guys are not temporary hostile. Huh. Should I just knock out the servants then? Might as well, to be honest. Oh, you have to go all the way there? Really? Let's go to the fire shield. Under their noses. Okay, here. Scroll of light. Need to be oh, not exactly close. Target too far. On my honor. Sure, let's go on the base here. Not bad. have these guys they should dash Actually, most of these guys need to dash by the looks of it really right next to Karlak they should take damage from the fire shield right oh you were right here okay ow Nice critical hit, dude. Nice critical hit. Uh, anyone who hits, no, everybody Go missed. Throat. Okay. Uh, Starion. out and then go for the other one uh, yeah if I use this melee I'm gonna do damage so I'm not gonna do that On him because why not? God, it's hot in here. Now, Kalak, can you do? You can't exactly do <laughs> jump on the spot. That is, uh, sure, let's frenzy for this one. Although, I don't think it's needed to be honest. Oh, and actually, that broke the whole mass concentration. Whoops. Okay, you need to go all the way there, you here. So I guess... Ah, not... Okay. Don't need a knocked out on you guys. For you guys, I need to beat you out. And you still needed to dash. Oh, the battlefield was really, really bad. Gotcha. That's why. Sure. Because why not? Everybody misses Garlack. Shield <laughs> blow. Sit down. You broke concentration. Eh, I'm fine. Okay. The reason I'm doing uh, out on these guys 
I'm just thinking they're kind of innocent here, you know? Like under a spell and whatnot. Okay, you're out. I doubt you have anything of interest. Ramparts door. Isn't this the Ramparts door? But sure, I'll hold on to it. Uh, you would be next. We'll go two on you there, and then hit. Okay, can you just <laughs> Ah, beautiful And then uh Gale yes. Do that that was funny. I'm throwing the werewolf on the wolf. Have to keep going. Right. Party guest, what do we have here? We have nothing on you. There's a door over there. This auto open. No. What to do? Another step forward. Let's see. Is there's definitely a room over there? Okay. An elevator. Party planner. Mm. This seems to be the working notebook used by a certain Chamberlain Duffy to plan Casador's gatherings in the mansion ballroom. Functions are divided into two categories, those for invited guests and those for involuntary guests, the entertainment for the latter category being considerably more sinister than the former. The final handwritten entry is below. Master has ordered a special party. A final feast, he said. This will be my ultimate test, but I am prepared. And I'm sure the guests, both invited and involuntary, will be thrilled to participate. Yeah, I'm sure they are really, really thrilled. So, did I just destroy the way to... Check that room over there. I'll get you in. Watch your back. Actually, exterior. Have a lot I'm not sure if there's any uh, and, well, a mechanism. It, what path lies before me? In the chair to open. Sheet music. For General Sandro's death suit. A funerary celebration in three parts. Drum, violin. Yeah, at least this door is open. It's actually. Oh, there's a button. Ah, and this is how this opens here. Gotcha. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad so, as it could have. Uh, See, Gale? you shall find me. And these things have stayed interesting. One day I'll catch a break. Uh, Quite ready for one. you. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Okay, there's and a chest. Salute. 
counting house safe for me. I, I still haven't uh, went to the counting Open house. Up. Not even off screen. Need to remember. Four room invitation. No, and then I'm assuming this is my hands on everything. The same way. Okay then. So uh, back and mage power, this can be on for Gale, Borrow Meditation. Lutonis Kalira. You have been recommended to the Tsar's mansion as a musician of both talent and discretion, and we have need of both. Consider yourself hired to play at the Fet in the mansion ballroom or on the first evening of the next 10 day. Dress is reserved rather than ostentatious. Chamberlain Dufay. P.S. Be prepared to play requests. And then I'll get you in. Sansi, I've been invited to play at a party at the Tsar's palace tonight in their ballroom. Show the Chamberlain at this door, at the door, this note, and he'll let you in to join me. Wear your best dressed, Kalira. Ah, uh, if only they knew. If only they knew. At the ready. What a charmer. Looking ahead. Can't slow down. Uh, hold up. Here There's that one. What so, what's gonna be up here? It should take me... Well, not exactly outside. Hatch. There's another button here. Whoa. Is this by any chance? That's cool. 1477. Like Cazador's secret place where he rests. Seems simple enough. This looks like we need to go below. Right. This isn't creepy at all. That's for sure. Crossbow, there's a button there. Chama swing is gonna open here. Yes. Holy moly, what's with this area? Ugh. Sure, some four gold over there. Right, what's with this? Ashko, 1477. On my 13th birthday, I was summoned to the city palace by Uncle Casador. Old Dorosso hitched the team to the best carriage and drove me to Black Dragon Gate, where I was met by porters and a litter to carry me through the upper city to Tsar's palace. The Chamberlain was waiting to conduct me to the ballroom, a chamber mysterious to me, as I'd never been allowed to enter it before. Amanita Tsar. This is some uh, family history on the Tsars for sure. Right, Mirtul 1477. The whole family was waiting for me. Every living Tsar, Uncle Casador, Grand Granddam, Fistula, Grand Aunt Dralia, and cousin Lovart. There was a gilded clavichord on a dais that was playing without anyone sitting at the keyboard. The four of them were sitting on armchairs in a semicircle facing me. Uncle commanded me to approach him and look him in the eye. I did. Amanita Zar. Damn, it's good to be alive. Okay, this is getting so that's progress. Spicy. Another step forward. Okay, to Casador's dungeon. Okay. Uh, okay, got some treasure. Uh, there we go. I was wondering what does that button open? Okay, 
I like. Soldier, me. Let's get going. Ah, uh, beetle stick, Moving right? Uh, we'll collect. Here goes nothing. Follow me if I go down. And she kind of got stuck in the. Yeah, she's here, right? She got stuck in the door. And I wasn't able to move her. So I'm glad that I managed to do that. Now, did I just. No, I did not pick it up. I'd love to, thanks. I have a lot on my mind. Uh, well, in it. At the ready. So I'm assuming Asterion did not know about any of this. I'm not seeing any any comments. <clears throat> okay. What's up here? More soap bar, a chest. Ouch. What's in the pouch? Silver key and a float. Sure, okay. Let's move. A silver key to what? There's no other chest around here. It looks like this is everything. Holy moly. Silver glass. Let's look at this. Torture axe. Teeth on. Another diary. Uncle Casador made me a vampire, but I refused to participate in the family rites. He gave me the hunger, but he could not break my will. He had Blovart imprison me in the attic. I weakened. They sent up human blood, and eventually I drank it. For a year, they stopped sending anything. I tore at the walls in frustration. Then they sent up a bound captive, Amanita Zar. What's the story? Well, uh, that's a good question, Karlak. How much farther can I go? Are there more? Yeah, I'm not sure where would be more, actually. So that seems a bit unfinished. Here what does this button do, actually? Go. Should... Okay, it's... Closing this door. What's in here? Casket... Okay, I'm gonna take one more look <coughs> up here. Wooden barrel, we had that. Maybe the trunk? I'm assuming that's the bed she was resting. Just trying to see if there's maybe a fourth note. But I don't think it might not be. Just curious because that one kind of ended up in a gold necklace yeah ended up a bit in a cliffhanger so you got sent another person up here and then what did you give in or Here. Oh, 
We both have a bit of gold. Sure. Alright then. So... Everybody here. You stand on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Casador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well. Him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. All right, let's descend. Hold on to something, maybe? <laughs> okay, Casador's dungeon. Also, We need to look uh, clean, guys. Lovely day, this. Not sure if uh, no. Gale needed it, but Still sure. Breathing. Just might as well everything. use it. And let's cook in. Should maybe give that one to Kalak. Yeah, and for sure he has another one. Don't waste the step. Okay, we have a waypoint. Creep the gate. I never knew any of this was here. There's another this creep does. gate down there. Show me. Ah, is this a freaking maze? I think it is. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Okay, let's put the ring. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Oh. Okay, so this is... Right at the trunk over there. So I cannot open any of those doors. This is a side thing. Cool. Malice. I think uh, Asterion had. Keep your distance, darling. Yeah, for the malice. Then what else did I get? Arcane cultivation. Lightning resistance. Ah, uh, but I already have all the other elixirs. Okay, scroll of names. Many of the surnames will be familiar to a Baldurian. Though some of those near the beginning of all the list are of families now long disappeared. This is a list of names of people dating back centuries, but containing right up to the present day. He recorded thousands of names. Were they his victims or something else entirely? <sighs> Who knows? Our structure of Baldur's Gate. This is a journal of Cazador's thoughts and concerns about the power structure of Baldur's Gate and how the changing balance between the faction affects his own ability to operate in the city without interference or competition. The most recent notes at the end relate to the old problem of Nine Fingers and the Guild 
and new concerns about the ambitious young Lord Cortash. Cazador's worries about the guild revolve around the rise of the brash new criminal kingpin known as the Stone Man, or Stone Lord, and what it might mean for the gates underworld if Nine Fingers is replaced. Meanwhile, the upstart Cortash is filling the prototypes of his Steel Watchers in the city streets. Are they capable enough to detect and damage Casador's vampire spawn? Guilds, I mean, nobles, politicians. If he controlled even a fraction of these, the city could be his, and no one would ever know. I mean, not anymore. We took care of the Steel Watch. Okay, mortal view. Eyewitness accounts of the ball spawn crisis. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking that... She'd be trouble. Little thief. Always in everyone's business. And that word of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise. A wicked god's blood was running in the veins. Anonymous. Anonymous candle keep. Sarevok and his lot are always the first one that come to mind. You know this all started with a bit of irony in Nashkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Amnion, mercenary, interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Irenicus, and I curse you, hostile vampire at Kala slums. The five tore death here to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more ball spawn showing up would fix the war, war that the pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to kill each, each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. Saradush Merchant retired. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Pick it up at the sea tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if a ball spawn got it stuck to them? Their father is the killing type after all. Flaming Fist, Gauntlet, Baldur's Gate. Several hundred more interviews follow, most of them tears. Anything to say about this? Anyone? Asterion? No? Okay. Uh, I think this might have been related to the previous games, what happened. So a bit of uh, easter eggs or information. Okay, I don't need to pick it up. Drop it. I want to read it. For my sins, my soul was made ink and written onto this parchment, parchment, where it scrolls, crawls sleeplessly for eternity, unless you free it. Uh, okay, eternal cruelty. Velioth, the meditation of a vampire lord. Mm, better not be cursed. The journal of Casador Sar records the movements and action of his spawn, with particular attention paid to Astarian. Every order, failure, and punishment it's, is recorded with cold calculation. Only the most recent entries seem to betray any emotion. Astarian failed to return from his hunt this night, Godi informed. He will have the pliers ready when the boy shows himself again. Still missing. I ought not to be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome. But to disappear now, when we're all but ready? It is unconscionable even for him. I have dispatched the brood. They will find him and bring him home. And when they do, I will make him scream for this. It has been days. And he's still missing. No amount of pain has motivated his brothers and sisters to find him. It seems Baldur's Gate has swallowed him whole. I'm searching for them further afield, but my reach outside the city is limited. In the meantime, the hunt continues here. My spawns fail me. Asterion eludes me. I will have my due. Nothing on that, Asterion? Maybe about Velioth? On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. 
You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Sure, the skull's memories rise and unfold. Let them wash over you. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Okay, let's try to concentrate on the memory. What is Veliat's first lesson? Oh. Veliat's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Veliath recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Veliath drained his friend dry. Oh, damn. Okay, what is Veliath's second lesson? I'm not liking these rolls. I'm really rolling close. First was a 16, now a 15, barely. Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak, and to be weak is to fail and die. Valioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. All right. What is Velia's third lesson? Of course, I had a feeling I'm gonna roll up really low for this one. I do have like four inspiration, so I might use it. There we go. Velia's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Even his precious rules. Damn, okay. And I'm assuming nothing else. Oh, cannot interact more. Okay, unfolding the scroll reveals a list of all rites and rituals detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage. Or simply made more interesting. The rite of, par of perfect slaughter, the liturgy of the dead, the sacrament of the damned, and many more strange, accursed rituals covered the watchman. The final entry, however, is familiar. The rite of profane ascension. Oh, pity us dead. Or... Ravenous dead. Immortality is your gift, but darkness is your prison and hunger is galore. The rite of profane ascension will release you. Walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger, grow your power beyond anything you imagined. A pact has been made with the Lord of Hellfire. Deliver unto him 7,000 souls, each bearing an infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. Deliver the words, speak the words. Ecce Dominus has animas offero in sacrificio. Nunc volo potestatem quam polisitus es mihi. I'm assuming that's Latin and I probably might maybe butchered a bit. Okay. We found the scroll, scan the ritual custom, okay. He plans to sacrifice thousands of souls. Seven thousands. Who do you think he is? One day the I'll emperor catch a break. of men? Wanna be? Okay. I thought my guys are having a conversation, but I think I'm hearing.
No, hold up. Why are you showing me here? You're telling me in a way I can jump down? Yeah, crypt gate over there. Mm. No, I don't think it's only by jumping down, right? But I could do it if need be. So that's an alternative exit. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Right, once again, let's press the signet. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Okay, we have people around here. I'm assuming spawns? Chesa? They're all named. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Uh, Estherian, do you know by any chance who these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. Uh, I don't think there's any chance. It can't be. Who is he exactly? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? Uh, I mean, okay, in what way do we mean we'll set them free? Like, we open right now the doors and just let them go, or we open the doors and put them out of their misery, or third option after the ritual is finished, or we find some way to stop the ritual. And maybe in a way to make them revert back, if that's even possible. I know I should let us tell an answer, and probably the answer is going to be maybe years, maybe dozens, then 20, 30, hundreds, hundred years, I don't know. I'm gonna answer will set you free. 
you see what in what way we mean it. Free. We'll never be free while that monster lives. That's why we're here. To destroy Kazador. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. Where is he now? The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him, what then? <sighs> what happens to us? Like I said, we'll set you free. Free from this nightmare. It doesn't feel possible. I promise you, I know that feeling all too well. But it can be done. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. Ah, I'm allowed. I met Sebastian, one of the first victims. And instead of feeding on them, on him, Kazdor turns Sebastian to spawn, okay. We don't know how many of Asterian's victims are still alive down here. But we did learn that Kazdor's staff controls the prison. We need to take it from him. If we were to decide the prisoner's fate. Okay, Asterion. Cuts above. He kept Sebastian. I feel ill. All the fools and villains who ever fell for my ploys, they're, they're here. Did Sebastian hurt you in some way? He... didn't do anything at all. I can't say the same of all my victims. There's only one reason they'd all still be here. He must need them for the ritual. Each of the seven, we, we must have brought in a thousand over the decades. They're all lambs for his slaughter. And if I was to take his place, they'd all die by my hand. Everyone, whoever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. Uh, why would you want to perform the ritual? I mean, you can save them. <laughs> What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. They will be ravenous. They must die. Better they serve a purpose. Uh. I mean, there's still hope for them. You got out. You got better. Come on. They're in a state far beyond anything that ever happened to me. Decades of hatred will have piled up inside of them. I... I can't even begin to imagine. We must find Kazador. This must end. Well... You clearly want to say something. Okay. Okay, we have a couple of uh, conversation here. Do you think the children from Ulma's tribe are still alive? Alive? <laughs> no. But animated? Yes, I'm sure they are. If Kazador turned the victims we brought him to spawn, he'd have done the same to the children. With glee, I imagine. But let's not forget why we're here. Casador needs to die. Everything else comes second. 
Okay. Can we <laughs> well, ask you something more? You clearly want to say something. I just want to know if you're actually set those prisoners free. I... I don't know. I thought they were dead for so long. I could feel guilty, happy in the knowledge there was nothing I could have done differently. I could never have saved them. But now... Now there's a choice to make. You should free them. You owe them that. And what am I owed? What about the injustices I've suffered? Am I not entitled to anything? All that matters now is killing Kazador. I've earned that, if nothing else. We can deal with the prisoners when the time is right. After all, they're not going anywhere. Well, you clearly want to say something. Anything else I want to ask him? What's next? Next, we find Cazador. And once we find him, well, let's hope fate is on our side. Let's hope. I'm not going to say you can just leave and not face Cazador. The living may not be prevented from crossing a vampire's threshold, but that doesn't make us any more welcome. Tread carefully. Yeah, indeed. How can I help? Uh, Kolak? What is it about this place? I know we shouldn't let down our guard, but I feel... like I could drift off and never wake up. Stay away, Kolak. On your toes. Can That's I... place for the eyes. Yeah. We'll be out of here in no time. Uh, He's coming back. These are the kids. Like Whoa, Vanya wasn't there. Of course he'll come back. This... Weren't the ghoul looking for Vanya? Something like that. Huh. Okay. Right. I guess uh, this is it. And uh, yeah, I know it's gonna be a bit of a clean finger, but I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. Because we did have a lot of lore and whatnot. Interesting stuff. Love it. But uh, again, I don't know how long it's gonna be the fight here, and I don't wanna have. The conversations after the fight and be a little long episode if this is the last fight over here that is you know it looks like there's a path down here that will take the lower level and the entrance that i saw way over here but yeah for now hopefully you enjoyed this episode guys and i'll see you next time as always don't forget to take care